Hello everyone! It's Latin time! Wait, no, it's Italian time. I'm just kidding. I'm so funny. Today I'm gonna teach you some Latin phrases that we still use a lot in Italian. Yes, we do use a lot of Latin words, obviously, and in English you do too, but we also use Latin phrases, in English you do too, but we do a little bit more, and they're very, very common. Today we're gonna learn some phrases that I personally use a lot. Let's get started. La numero uno, it's because I'm really funny, is in primis. So if I give you the sentence In primis voglio dire che la cena è stata organizzata molto bene First, I want to say that the dinner was organized very well So it's like to start First, blah blah blah, in primis L'espressione latina numero due Because I'm still very funny Is in extremis, per esempio Se non riuscissimo a trovare un taxi In extremis potremmo camminare in extremis. You might think that it's, you know, in primis is first, in extremis is last, but not really. It's almost like worst comes to worst or like in the extreme scenario, in extremis, we will walk. If we can't find a taxi, worst comes to worst, we'll, we'll walk in extremis. Very useful. Numero tre, ex novo. So if I give you this sentence, oh, ho sbagliato tutto in quel tema, dobbiamo rifarlo ex novo. Ex novo? From the beginning, from scratch. I just said like, oh, I got everything wrong in that essay. We need to do it again from the beginning. Ex novo. La parola numero quattro è una tantum. Una tantum. What does it mean? Let me give you the sentence first. Di solito non mangio cibo spazzatura, però una tantum possiamo andare al McDonald's. Una tantum? It's like exceptionally. It's an exception. Usually I don't eat junk food, but exceptionally we can go to McDonald's. Sorry if you're a McDonald's lover. I really don't eat McDonald's because I don't eat meat, so I can only eat filet of fish. I don't like it. La prossima espressione latina. I love this one. I love it and I use it a lot, but it makes me sound like I'm a bad person. But it's just fun to use it. It's do ut des. Do ut des. So, for example, here I need to give you a situation. I usually help my cousin a lot with English, but he's so good at cooking and he always brings me good food, so don't this, don't this. Technically, it means I give so that you give back. I give so that you give. And it's usually used when in a situation you give something, but then the other person will give something, don't this. Not that nice, but don't this. And last one, I know you use this too, but uh, the pronunciation is ad hoc, ad hoc. So yes, you can use it in Italian as well. And also in English, you use uh, status quo. Uh, you can use that too in Italian, status quo. Fun video, use some Latin. Latin is in our roots. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. See you later.